Hey everybody, my name is Jeff and I was once very unhappy and 327 pounds. Yeah, that's me right there. But you know what? I changed my life. I'm now 210 pounds. It's been six months since I lost the weight, but these videos start off with me 327 pounds and showing you what I did to lose the weight. What's up everybody? Today is uh, Friday. Friday! Let's see what uh, date it is on my calendar. Friday the 8th, so it's 5-8-2015. Uh, this is Pump It Up. Um, in case you don't know this, I am not a doctor. I am not a fitness trainer. I am just an average guy and trying to lose weight. This is my daily vlog. So if you've stumbled on this, you probably want to go back all the way to the first ones. So you can figure out exactly, or not exactly, what's going on here. Who I am and what I got going on. Alright, so, <clears throat> today is Friday and I've come to the decision that I am not going to have like uh, a carb day um, this weekend. I'm actually going to have, oh man, I got a stain on my head from work. I'm actually going to have just uh, where I vary my calories. I'm going to push up my calories and stay keto and see how that works out because I did this last cheat day just was a disaster. I don't know what happened, but it definitely wasn't worth having because I only lost like a pound this week. I'm 267 right now. Um, so this weekend I can make up some ground possibly if I just vary my calories and stay on my keto diet for another week. Uh, yeah, definitely not a good weekend for me. Bad choice on my carb loading or whatever carb time. 3,500 calories of shit, obviously. So, and I know you're going to have slowdowns and stuff like that, but it just... It, it was uncalled for for me to have a slowdown the way I've been going. Um, the training that I'm doing, plus I work a physical construction job. I should not be having any issues losing weight right now. What went wrong was totally my fault. So... I'll update you some more if I lose weight tomorrow or this weekend. You know, these are daily. I'm going to keep coming at them, coming at you with them. And uh, so I, I did lose one pound. Whoopie fuck. <laughs> Whoopie fuck. I lost a pound in a fucking week. That's terrible. That's the worst week I've had in two months. Because um, I like losing, you know, two pounds a week, three pounds a week, four pounds a week. And I know you're not supposed to lose weight that fast, but I don't really care. I ain't fucking working out like crazy and fucking eating the right stuff. Well, obviously not. My carb, my carbs fucked me um, last week. Now, I... Okay, wait, 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 wait. It might be also the amino acids that I was taking because I switched from branch chain to essentials and they may be kicking me out of ketosis. So I think I'm going to stop those essentials totally. I can't blame the carb night. I cannot. But I have been having these essential amino acids. I don't know if they can kick me out of ketosis or not. I know a lot of people take supplements in ketosis. Um, we'll find out. Um, but that's uh, for the purest essential amino acids, not the branch chain amino acids. I seem to do okay with the branch chain amino acids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to the branch chains and see if that helps out. I can't blame the carb time or whatever because I've had cheat days before and come back stronger than ever. So I won't blame that necessarily. We'll have to dissect this section by section and see what's going on. It may be the carb night or it may be the branch, uh, the essential amino acids. Also I did try a new drink that my friend keeps giving me new stuff to try supplement wise 
and none of this stuff really fits in with keto real good so I have to like try it sparingly all right so that's my video um, I'll be uh, going to the gym tomorrow and I don't know about Sunday yet if I'm gonna take the day off and relax I really should because I should vary my energy levels as well as my calorie levels but uh, sometimes it's hard to do when you're when you're um, like me and you latch on to stuff and you get like obsessive compulsive and you need control and I do it's hard to change things you know what I mean like in and only you can only change things if they meet a scientific parameter that fits in your fucked up brain like mine then you can do it but sometimes I have a hard time with varying stuff because I'm like full out full out full out and full out is not always the answer and a lot of people do a lot better with nothing you know than full out so keep that in mind I lost weight a lot faster on the modified Atkins say staying under 20 carbs per day permanently with cheat nights okay cheat full cheat nights just so you know not fucking uh, cheat time not a cheat meal full cheat day and night okay and I lost faster than I'm losing now um, so and I did not count calories now I count calories I keep them at 1700 okay um, sometimes a little higher a little lower depending you know and this weekend I'm gonna go high and then come back down but stay in keto um, yeah this this is a much more controlled like a n equals one type I'm taking myself and putting this situation here that's clinically correct. I should lose some effing fucking weight, but it doesn't always work that way, does it? All right, guys, that's Pump It Up for today. Right fucking there, that's Pump It Up. So, see ya tomorrow.